Well, howdy, stranger. <laughs> yes, it is Wednesday. Yes, I am in a car. I do not have a cigar, though. It's a pipe. It's my biggest favorite with Haunted Bookshop. And it's actually running kind of low. You might get to see me do an on the road uh, pipe reload, which is always exciting. You get the tobacco pouch out. That makes it a little less exciting because I don't have to reach around, but, uh, you know. I also don't have the outside camera, but I was feeling social, so. Uh, just uh, left work. I'm in the strip mall that I'm usually in. You can't see anything with that camera angle, but that's the best I can do. I'm in that strip mall that I'm usually in, but I didn't go to the cigar store. I went to the health store and got some of this. This is um, this is a breakfast. Well, many breakfasts. Breakfasts. Is. Hmm. Turns out one of the real challenges of, um, I guess, getting older and also having been through a dieting phase where I lost a lot of weight, uh, you know, you kind of reprogram your your eating strategy and it actually becomes hard to get the right balance of things. So I was having a lot of trouble getting enough protein because there's only so much meat I can eat. I'm eating a lot of vegetables and salads and stuff like that. It's, it's not, I mean, I eat plenty of meat, but how much can you really eat? So. I started that stuff about a year ago for breakfast, and uh, yeah, it helps. Let's ride. Well, this is not going to be very long. Hopefully, this guy coming up behind me is not going to rear end me. But I just wanted to do something since I was in this shopping mall on a Wednesday afternoon and I thought oh what the heck it's been so long but I did have one or two things I wanted to mention um, one is that I am back to live streaming tonight uh, tonight Friday night uh, so day after tomorrow night <laughs> Nothing special, just just the usual, but uh, looking forward to that after taking a week off last week. So that's Friday night at 8 p.m. on the channel. And if you click that little notification bell, sometimes you get a notification. So this morning, I was actually working on a pipe. Um, I got to work on actually a Bing's favorite, uh, not this one, but one for a, for a buddy who uh, cracked the shank, and so I'm gluing up the shank and I'm going to put a band on it for him. As you probably know, I, I kind of shut down the pipe repair business. Well, I didn't kind of shut it down, I shut it down. Um, just because it was taking me so long to get the job done right that I didn't feel like I was providing a festive turnaround. But I do miss working on pipes. And I was thinking this morning, and this might go nowhere, but I put a post up on Instagram and I said, you know, I miss this. I, uh, I'm thinking about maybe reopening for limited things. So I will not do replacement stems because they take forever and uh, I just don't have the time. But, you know, banding a crack shank, that's that, that can be done. Um, Cleaning the pipe, you know, retorting, that that sort of thing. Restoring an estate pipe, not restoring it, like not a not a not a lost cause restoration. But you buy an estate pipe and you want it professionally cleaned and uh, polished up and all that. And then I was thinking of maybe a service that I'm calling a pipe tune-up. A lot of times I've gotten factory pipes that just they were okay and. You do things like uh, funnel the, the, the tenon and funnel the airway, 
uh, funnel the uh, the end of the airway. Sorry, I'm blanking on words as I'm trying to drive, but you know you can you can get these things smoking really really well just by paying a little bit of attention to the internals of the pipe, and uh, it's usually not a lot to do, uh, but stuff that folks don't feel comfortable doing on their own. So. I was thinking of maybe putting up a, a sort of a limited menu of things that, that I could do and try to keep things reasonably priced, like, you know, the cleaning, maybe $25 to tune up, not to tune up, to, to clean up an estate pipe, you know, clean, ream, retort, clean the outside, polish it up, uh, get the oxidation off the stem. And then for the for the tune-up, which is a little bit more involved, maybe, maybe I don't know, forty dollars is the number that came to mind. But I, I have no idea. So let me know what you think. Is that is that something that would be worthwhile? Is it something you would take advantage of? Because the vast majority of my customers come from you guys, and uh, if you tell me it's it's a waste of my time to do it. I'm not going to do it, and that's okay. You know, don't don't think you have to be kind to me. It's not that I don't have enough to keep me busy, but I kind of miss the pipe stuff um, more than anything. I miss the interaction. You know, it's kind of fun getting the pipe in the mail and writing to the guy saying this is what I think it needs and you know that kind of back and forth yeah, that's enjoyable and what's always great is when you hear from someone like I heard from my buddy Mark in Rhode Island today and they say boy that pipe you fixed for me is, is, is really fantastic it's working great that that just makes me feel good it makes me feel like I not only did something to help that person enjoy pipe smoking more, but you know, I saved a pipe, so I like that. Anyway, let me know what you think of the idea down below in the comments. And don't be, don't be gentle, I can take it. Uh, I had to go to work today for lunch, <laughs> I had some other stuff to do, but I could have done it from home. But I had a, meet, a lunch meeting, and I guess you technically can do a lunch meeting over a video conference, but what's the point? I don't like lunch meetings. I don't like meetings where, where I have to eat. I like to have working time and eating time as two separate things. But they're, they're ubiquitous in the world that I live in, so, and possibly in the world that you live in. So we do what we have to do. Anyway, folks, I, I said this was going to be a relatively short one. I guess it is supposed to be a ramble, so I'm okay to... And, and it's exciting that I'm on the road, even though you can't see the road. Sorry about that. I still haven't found the SD cards for the... GoPro uh, that I used to, to look out the front window, which is not, you know, I could buy a new SD card, but it's not the, not the top of my list right now in terms of things I need to do. Plus, editing those videos is a pain, you know, getting the audio to line up and, and everything inside and outside and Going from the uh, the wide view to the to the little view of I forget how I'd do it. Either I'd be up in the corner or the road would be up in the corner. I guess I'd be up in the corner. It took a lot of editing to do that. Not impossible, but I gotta go home and rescue my doggies. They've been alone since about 11 o'clock, and it's going on 5 o'clock now. Not a big deal, but uh, 
my wife's usually around and this is the first day that she's been away and that I've been gone for this long um, in a while so they're going to be a little you know, curious as to when I might be returning but they'll be fine I think this pipe is just about done. Yes, I have a car that still has an ashtray. <laughs> It's a nice day here, very sunny, um, 50, 51 degrees according to my car's thermometer here, if that's correct, but it's usually wildly inaccurate, although it doesn't feel much cooler than 40 or something. So with the wife away, I'm, my evenings are free. And last night, I went to the chiropractor. And uh, before I did that, I put a, um, essentially a casserole on. And uh, it made plenty for me to eat for the rest of the week. So. I don't have to cook anything now, so I can go home and eat some of that and get to work on work I enjoy doing rather than work I'm forced to do to pay the bills. I'm not forced to do it. But it's nice to pay your bills. sister-in-law and they ran into someone um, I don't want to give too much detail about this but basically he knew my sister-in-law from the time he was a child and uh, he was he was managing a restaurant but you know, it's a really cool story about how he actually became a high school teacher and realized he didn't really like the work and then took time off and was doing this kind of work but now he's in a a university program for a new career path and you, know, you got to admire people that are willing to do that I'm the kind of guy that's been on a linear track since I was a little kid I always wanted to be a scientist and uh, you know never really gave anything else much thought I don't regret a minute of it. You know, it's been a wonderful, wonderful, fascinating career and, and has paid me well and has taken, allowed me to take care of my family and everything. But now I guess that I'm coming up, you know, the next five years or so, I'm coming to the end of that. Uh, you start to think about what else could I have done? You know, what would the world, what would my life be like if I had done, taken a different path? It would be very different for me because I actually met my wife through work. Well, through through school, I met her when I was a grad student. And I never would have done that because I probably never would have wound up in Pittsburgh. But yeah, these little little choices we make in life can really have significant impact. All right, folks, well, that's about it. If you can, join me uh, Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 
I look forward to chatting with you guys then. If you could let me know in the comments what you think about my pipe tune-up idea. Um, would love to hear about that. If there's services that you think are needed that I didn't mention. Well, I'm not going to make replacement stems. They just take too much time. So with that, I'm going to go feed my doggies. Take care, folks. We'll talk soon.